When I started teaching this about 17 years ago, there was no industry. Now we have oxygen supplement industries, we have oxygen device industries. You can get your ozone and air uh, oxygen purified, you can get your water oxygen and ozone purified, you can get your body oxygen and ozone purified with supplements. You can buy devices, you can put your feet in them, you can put your body in them, you can put them in the air, you can put them in the car. There's all kinds of ways to put more oxygen in your life, in your environment. The next thing I decided was, okay, I formulated the OxyLift, and then I said, okay, what can we do next? What's the next thing? Well, the next thing is nobody has enough minerals. Your body is made of minerals. If you notice a plant, when the plant grows, the soil goes down, that's where the plant comes from. That's where the trees came from. The soil, sucked up by the bacteria, clinging to the nodules and the, and the roots of the plant, digesting the soil, turning it into food, sending it up, up the plant, and the plant grows. Well, that's where the plant comes from. That's where we come from. But we're not rooted in the ground. We walk around and we forage. So when we forage, we are putting mineral delivery into our body. We're delivering minerals into our body. None of the food since the 30s, because of the huge agribusinesses, has enough minerals in it. You don't have a full complement of minerals. One of the worst offenders is the lack of sulfur. Sulfur determines your cell wall permeability. What does that mean? That means your cell's ability to absorb oxygen, minerals, and water. And, in the reverse direction, the cell's ability to throw out the trash. So if your body doesn't have cell wall permeability, if the cells in your body simply are leathery, you're getting prematurely old first, it'll start showing on your face and your body, because your cell wall flexibility, the cell membrane flexibility is not there anymore, so the missing sulfur has to be put back in. Now, why does the sulfur disappear from the soil? Well, when they make the artificial fertilizer, which was required by the New Deal in the 50s, when they started putting the artificial fertilizer into the plants, into the agribusinesses, the sulfur boils off at 180 degrees, I think it is, which they use to make the fertilizer. So we've had a chronic sulfur deficiency since the 50s in this country. So one of the things that's in the Oxy Earth, which I formulated to answer these specific needs, is you've got 78 or so minerals from ancient humic shale, which is the plants that are at the bottom of the desert, which used to be the ocean floor. It's the old sea vegetation. Mm -hmm. Dig that up. Add to that MSM, which is nature's sulfur delivery system. Add to that vitamin C so that the sulfur is absorbed easily. This is the second most important thing. It is my belief, and we've had people energetically test these, they test this, the OxyLift and it comes up like a 9.8 on a 10-point scale. Most products are 4 and 5, okay? 9.8 and 10-point scale because it's what you need. It's the base of everything. And then they test the OxyEarth and they said this one is a 10. Okay, 9.8 and 10. What happens if you take them both You're off the scale? So if people would, would just buy and use daily just these two things or anything like it. I don't care who's you buy. I don't care. I'm just giving you an idea here. So there's, there's a lot you can do just by replacing what's missing. What's missing is your oxygen. What's missing is nobody is hydrated enough. Nobody has enough water in their body. Nobody drinks enough water. Our, our thirst mechanism is somehow impaired because of all the pollution. The, the cells cannot signal each other and say, hey, I'm thirsty, send me some water. All they hear is because of all the garbage. <laughs> all the cells are covered up with garbage. So they're trying to communicate to each other, either chemically or electromagnetically or spiritually or whatever your belief is. But they can't because they're, filled, they're covered with slime, covered with mucus, they're covered with pollution, they're covered with undigested particulates of food matter, bacteria, viruses, fungus, and pathogens, living on that, living on the cells, trying to digest you. You know, you go out to the, you go out to the dumpster and, there, and there's a, a rotting piece of meat in there or a dead rat or something. It's covered with flies. It's, covered, it's got a stink to it. There's bacteria, maggots. That's what's going on inside you at a microscopic level because the bugs think you're a good source of food because you don't have enough oxygen, because of all the pollution you've collected within your bodies and within your cells your entire life, plus the lack of fresh, clean oxygen in the air. We've got so much smog and pollution. The air turns green or orange. I've seen it in Los Angeles. I've been to Los Angeles and gotten shortness of breath. Mexico City, I flipped on the air conditioner and dust flew out of the air conditioner, making the room even hotter and more filthy. And I couldn't open the window because it was no better outside. That's not a way to live. In Korea, you can't see the sun. We've had people come to the booth and say, you know, all we see is like a silver disc behind this case. <laughs> How can we continue? This is a recent phenomenon. It's happened so fast that nobody's got, got noticed, hmm, well, we know it's bad, but yeah, everybody seems to be alive. 
Yeah, but look at the skyrocketing disease rate. Look at the skyrocketing incidence of disease in younger and younger people. Look at all the older people that are passing away more quickly, painfully, stuff full of drugs, tubes in their body that don't have to be. If we could just clean out these bodies, clean, start with cleaning out your room. Get an ozone air purifier for your room. Start putting some of this stuff in your body. Put, take drops or whatever you got, stick it in your body. Get something going, at least one thing. Then if you'll notice that starts to work very well, then you get two things. And you hey, you know, I'm a, that seems to be telling me something here that I didn't really think about before, and it's working. I have more energy. I noticed when I got out of the chair, I, did, I didn't get up like this. I went boing, and I got out of the chair. You know, I watch this happen to people. They used to walk around real slow. Now they run to the other room when the phone rings. It's like, hmm, okay. They're getting better. They're cleaning out. You see, it's our God-given birthright to be healthy and happy, spiritually aware. Part of, this, part of the problem here is it's deadening your consciousness. Your very consciousness, because your cells, your brain cells, are being covered with slime and mucus, and so you get the brain tumors and the Alzheimer's, the collection of the aluminum in the back of the brain stem. All this stuff going on, it doesn't have to be. You can clean it all out. You can look at, what am I drinking today? Is this purified tap water in a, in a very soft plastic thing, or is it ozonated spring water in a hard plastic that doesn't have as much problem, or even better in a glass bottle? You know, think, just those little choices you make all day long. You go to the supermarket, should I get a canned fruit, or should I get a fresh fruit? Well, the fresh fruit has the life force in it. The canned fruit, the fruit may be there, it may chemically test as the same as the fresh fruit, but the life force is gone. The enzymes are gone. This is the problem with all the processed food. There's, there was people on, on, some of the bodybuilders used to say, if man touched it, leave it alone. That, that was the, so if you take that to heart, you'll find that you're going to have a much better life, a much, much better senior time, and your children will be happier because you'll be feeding them the same thing, and they'll grow up, and they'll be better off as well. And what I've tried to do is formulate these basic products, the Oxy Lift, the Oxy Earth, the Oxy Flush, then we also have, there's an oxysil, which is silica, which is vital for your blood vessels to work, hair, skin, and nails, in a super absorbable form, where it's so small it goes straight in through all the garbage, straight through all the pollution because it's so tiny. Your body can use it finally. And it's natural plant form. They're not rocks. We've also taken the highest quality materials. I've found that people who do major oxygen cleansing with either ozone therapy or they say, they drink, uh, let's say, food-grade hydrogen peroxide in a dilute form, which used to be the only way you could do this. Well, there's a lot of those stories still going around. Those people will have cleansing reactions that aren't suitable for the masses, for the general public. So I came up with these formulas so that people, uh, anybody who knows nothing about nutrition, who's never done a cleanse, has eaten cheeseburgers and sit in front of the TV for 50 years, smoking dope and drinking beer, he can use it, they can use it, she can use it, and not have a real bad problem. But the trick is you got to use, as far as the cleansing reaction goes, where it all flushes out real quickly and you don't feel good. But those people can take it for a long time. And it's the long time, it's the continual everyday use of the product that makes it work so well. We've interviewed all kinds of people that have tried the product, and, or all the products, whatever, and I say, what happened? They say, well, it didn't work. You know, I tried it. it was a, I said, well, tell me about how often did you take it? Tell me about how many days you took it, how many weeks, how many months you took it. Oh, well, I tried it a couple of times and, you know. Those are the people who don't get results. Everybody I've tracked, because this is the basis of life. Minerals, oxygen, and water are the basis of life. Missing sulfur, for example, the basis of life itself. If they don't take it continuously every day without fail for, let's say, three, four, five months, they're not going to see the possibilities that are available once you replenish your reserves that are missing. Once you get your body the raw materials it needs, your DNA, your RNA, all of it is set up perfectly to repair you, to fix you, to give you energy, to give you health, and give you happiness. Okay, the number one cause of disease in the world is waterborne pollution. So you could take something very, very simple that costs just pennies, give it to everybody in the world, and there would be no more water pollution. Why? Because it's real simple. The bacteria, the viruses, fungus, and pathogens like E. coli, like HIV, like the flu virus, like the uh, spongiform bovine encephalitis, they're all anaerobes. Anaerobes cannot live in oxygen. So you put oxygen in the water, are you going to clean it? Yes, that's why the federal government mandates you must ozonate the water if it crosses state lines to purify it. Mm. 
And then they stand up in front of Congress and say, uh, ozone is quackery in the medicine area. Well, excuse me, your body is two-thirds water. You've mandated you have to put ozone into water to purify it. My body is two-thirds water, but you're telling me that it's quackery that we put ozone by injection or drip or recirculatory hemoperfusion in a human body? Uh, well, I guess I got a meeting to go to. He's gone. When I started, there was nothing. But I went out and I did 1,500 radio, TV shows, and speaking platforms all over the world. I sold a quarter of a million in my first book. This one is like on 30,000 now. We've, we've sold already. and it, it, It's just been growing exponentially. There's People that came to my lectures y 10 years ago are now the manufacturers and presidents of supplement companies all over the world. Mm -hmm. So it's my, my disciples, so to speak, have gone out and spread, spread the message that I delivered doing all the pioneering research and interviews. I'm the only person in the world it's been around the world interviewing doctors using the oxygen therapies, using the ozone therapies, using oxygen supplementation, active oxygen supplementation sometime in, in their practices for years and years and years. I'm the only person that's done that. I came back and put that all in this book. I'm independent. You go to my website, which is oxygenhealth.com. Oxygen Health, oxygen health H E A L T H dot com. You go there, there's plenty of articles. You can search 500 medical articles. Type in your favorite disease or your keyword and see what, see what everybody says about oxygen and that. Okay, and then that says, well, if you want to get products, probably the best place to go is to Rick's website, which is called oxygenamerica.com. And he's got a full complement of things. He, I consult with him, so I recommend to him, well, this product's good, this is good, this looks good. This. Here, you want to take these formulas, you want to produce it? I want the best products I can out for the people, at least available somewhere. He said he'd do it, so that's why he's the guy. With the Codex Alimentarius in Europe being passed, and I've even heard stories coming out of Australia where they've outlawed all supplements, and you go into health food stores, sorry, I can't sell it to you anymore, why not, I'll go to jail. I mean, and people in this country believe, oh, that could never happen here. And yet, illegally, against the Constitution of the United States, the FDA sent representatives to the Codex over in Europe and tried to, through the backdoor means of hooking the United States into signing a treaty about this banning of all quote unquote unapproved, well, unapproved by who? Traditional supplements, traditional naturopathic, traditional homeopathic, traditional remedies that have been around for centuries. They're trying to outlaw them. Of course, it's the drug companies behind this trying to eliminate the competition. So what's gonna happen in this country, I don't know. I don't know if these products are gonna be exempted as generally regarded as safe, but I would assume that oxygen, which we've been breathing for how many years? and minerals, which we've been eating for how many years? I think they are probably more towards something that's gonna be harder for them to outlaw and then make it far, uh, prescription only so they can make more money selling them back to us. I think that's gonna be harder and harder to do because my formulas are the basis of life itself. So they're the most basic things you don't have in the most assimilable form in the highest quality and purity we can find. So. Hopefully, it's all going to be GRAS, generally regarded as safe, grandfathered in. We don't know. We'll find out. Time will tell. GRAS, generally regarded as safe, within the United States is a different list than GRAS from Germ Germans deciding what's GRAS in Germany. And what they did was they took the German medical molecule, uh, model to write all these regulations. Because what you had in the turn of the century was they imported drugs, radiation, surgery, and long hospital stays into the American medicine. They got rid of the naturopaths, the oxygen therapy institutes, the ozone institutes. They were all doing well. But because they didn't pay to advertise in the American Medical Association Journal back then, they were able to politically use the power, the power of the press, the controlled press, to combine it with the people who don't want you to use anything other than their products, drugs, which was the oil barons and the railroad barons who own and we're buying the pharmaceutical companies back then. This is all under Eustace Mullins. You can find all this in history, names and dates. It proves everything I said. And so what they did was they had a coup d'etat. What they did was got rid of all natural healing methods in this country, switched over to the German medical molecule, of drugs, radiation, surgery, and long hospital stays. This is an unnatural way. It doesn't work. I read you all the sites and why it doesn't work, how it got completely corrupt over time as they were in their way in to sell more and more drugs, more and more drugs, forced drugging of school children with Ritalin. You know, it's just outrageous what's going on. 85% of Americans are on drugs. 
prescription drugs. 85, 75 to 85 percent of Americans are taking drugs and think it's perfectly normal and that, well, my doctor said, and the doctor himself goes, oh, well, don't listen to those, those idiots in the natural industry. They don't know what they're talking about. I've been to med school. Well, I've been lied to for 50 years. What, huh? <laughs> what was that? You know, what are you, what are you going to do in the face of someone who fervently believes, because all he does all day is listen to drug salesmen coming into the office. Hey, I got this sample for your guys. I got this sample for your patients. I get this sample. These guys come in and give them free drugs all day long. They've been doing it for 20 years.